Okay, so DeSantis, uh, if you've been watching him for the last year while he's been running for president, he's not the same. He Well, he doesn't appear to be the same DeSantis as he was when he was kicking ass in Florida during, uh, you know, during the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to watch the words I say here. Um, it's, but now he's kind of, I don't know, maybe, maybe because he's getting his, his ass kicked in, in the polls. Now he's kind of pushing it back out a little bit and he's taking strong stances on stuff. Some pretty, you know, I mean, whether you agree or not, it's just nice to see strong leadership from, from him. He was, he was very strong and everything, uh, during the pandemic. So, and he didn't know anything like he didn't have any knowledge that anyone else didn't have, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't privy to knowledge that anyone else didn't have. And he took a stance. He believed, excuse me, he believed in a, a position to take. And then he took that stance and he's kind of doing that again, the whole Israel Hamas conflict. So kind of nice to, nice to see. I'm going to read this article by the guardian and um, not very much of it because it's the guardian and let's be real kind of a dumpster fire. But here we go. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis rejects idea of Palestinian refugees in the U.S. Uh, Republican presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has rejected accepting Palestinian refugees from Gaza to the U.S., speaking at a campaign rally in the U.S. Midwest on Saturday. We cannot accept people from Gaza into this country as refugees, he said. If you look how they behave, not all of them are Hamas, but they are all anti-Semitic. None of them believe in Israel's right to exist. Uh, that's strong, strong point. I don't know if that's completely true, but if it is, hey, um, I would say there's probably, there's got to be some that, that are, that don't believe that, but DeSantis, who is tracking around 12% support among Republican voters for the party's nomination for next year's presidential election, far below Donald Trump at 58%, spoke at a campaign rally in Preston, Iowa. Last week, the Florida governor described pro-Palestine demonstration in Tampa and a victory to Palestine event in Fort Lauderdale as abhorrent. In his comments Saturday, DeSantis called on neighboring Arab nations to open their borders and absorb Palestinian refugees. Yeah, they should. That's why wouldn't they? But they probably won't. Inflating Palestinian freedoms uh, with support for Hamas, DeSantis attacked students at Harvard for their support of Palestinian and humanitarian causes and invoked reports of babies being murdered during the cross-border Hamas attack in Israel a week ago. Yeah, okay. There is some there. There's a lot of that going on, the conflation of the two. Hamas and the Palestinian people aren't necessarily the same. I mean, some are, I'm sure, but you know, to to push to lump them all into one group is it's a bit obtuse, I think. So if he's doing that, that's too bad. It should stop. We've got some serious problems in this country and we've allowed a lot of them to fester. My view is simple. If you don't like this country, if you hate America, you should not come to this country. We've got to start being smart about this, he said. That's that's pretty simple. That it's hard to hard to go against that. Great statement. DeSantis' comments come to some Republicans, come as some Republicans have sought to amplify an anti-immigration agenda with claims by MAGA extremists that the Biden administration's US Mexico border policy could allow foreign nationals sympathetic to radical Islamist causes into the U.S. I love this. MAGA extremist. Oh, my God. Like, that's what I'm saying. Dumpster fire. Okay? Dumpster fire articles. But let's carry on. The New York Post rep re uh, reported on Saturday that House Republicans had introduced new, le new legislation to prevent the United States from accepting any new Palestinian refugees who might be fleeing the crisis in Gaza. Tom Tiffany, one of the Congress members behind the act, posted on social media, we can't let President Biden abuse our parole and visa rules to bring unvetted Palestinians into American communities the way he did with thousands of unvetted Afghans. The Gaza Act, guaranteeing aggressors zero admis admission act, would also block the Department of Homeland Security from allowing Palestinians into the United States through the agency's parole program. Separately, the fraud in indicted New York Congressman George Sant Santos has said he was berated by anti-war activists at the U.S. Capitol on Friday as they protested Israel's retaliatory strikes on in Gaza. Okay, so yeah, can't disagree with some of the things he says there. Um, I don't, I don't know how you could, but you know, I guess some people might 
you know, they might find a way to disagree with that, I suppose, but I don't know. I just think, uh, yeah, I think this might be a little too late for him, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he rallies and he, uh, and he gains a lot of, a lot of support. Maybe something happens and Trump drops out. I don't know. I don't know. But if Trump doesn't drop out of the race, I, it's his to lose. I don't think any of this really matters. Maybe for a, for a 2028 run, but you know, but it's also good to see him at least kind of, you know, get that little bit of fervor that he had when he was running, when he was running Florida again, like I said, during the, uh, during the pandemic. So good on him. 